Hola, hi, this is Al, your probability and statistics instructor. Let's get to work. In this video, we're going to be introducing a new concept, the uh, concept of conditional expectation. After we do that, we are going to give a proof of a theorem of a result that establishes a relationship between the old expectation, the old expected value, and the new concept of conditional expectation. Okay, let's begin. So, that's the definition of conditional expectation. The uh, first one is given for uh, continuous random variables. Well, yeah, the first one is for continuous random variables, right? As you can see here, we have an integral. And then uh, we have the second one is for discrete random variables. Well, jointly continuous and jointly discrete, respectively, right? So uh, what I want you to see here in this definition is that it is really similar to the old concept of expected value, right? So if instead of the expected value of g of y1 given y2, we had just the old expected value of uh, g of y1, we would have the integral between negative infinity to infinity of g of y1 times the PDF of y1, right? Okay, now we have a conditional expectation, right? So instead of using the old PDF of y1, we use a conditional PDF, okay? But can you see? It's the same, uh, basically, as the old expected value. In the case of the discrete random, uh, well, in the case of uh, two jointly discrete random variables, y1 and y2, same, right? Same pattern. If we had the old expected value of g of y1, it would be the sum over all the y1s of g of y1 times the probability mass function of y1. Now, instead of having uh, the old probability mass function of y1, what we have is a conditional PMF. Make sense? So, very, very similar. It is just an extension, okay? And just one more comment, of course, uh, if we had the expected value of g of y2 given y1, this would be you know, the uh, corresponding uh, conditional uh, PDF. It would be the conditional of Y2 given Y1, okay? Okay, so uh, let's keep going. That's just the uh, definition of conditional expectation in both cases, when uh, Y1 and Y2 are jointly continuous and when Y1 and Y2 are jointly discrete. Now let's talk about that uh, theorem, that result that is going to uh, establish a relationship between the old expected value and the new conditional expected value or conditional expectation. Okay, so this could be useful. Uh, we'll see. In the near future, we're going to do an example, a really nice example, where you can see how this could be applied to quickly find the expected value of a random variable, okay? Okay, so what we have is that uh, if you have two random variables, y1 and y2, okay, uh, and you want to find the expected value of y1, one way of doing so is first find, ex uh, find the uh, condition expectation of y1 given y2 and then take the expected value of that conditional expectation. Okay? 
Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing here is providing a proof of that result. Okay. Here we go. Um, first, we're going to be assuming that uh, y1 and y2 are jointly continuous random variables. Okay. Um, it, the proof uh, in the case of uh, both of them being discrete is similar. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Proof. First, uh, as I said, we are assuming that y1 and y2 are jointly continuous, so we have a joint PDF for them, and we are going to start from the uh, left hand side, okay, we are going to uh, just uh, find an expression for the expected value of y1, given that we have the joint. So we know that if we want to find the expected value of y1, since these two guys are jointly continuous, one way of doing that would be just using the joint as follows. It would be the double integral of... I need a minus sign here. It would be the double integral of y1 times the joint. Okay, so it's really similar to what we did before, but now we have two random variables. Okay, and let's integrate with respect to y1 first and then with respect to y2 okay oops there oh there we are okay no problem now we want that uh, conditional expectation to appear right okay so we know that uh, a conditional uh, PDF is just the joint divided by uh, you know one of the marginals okay so in this case we want the marginal of y1 given y2 so let me show you something here we're going to multiply by a1 I'm going to be multiplying by the, uh, let me be super specific here, the marginal of y2 but since I am multiplying by that guy I'm going to be dividing by that guy too. Make sense? I just multiplied by a1. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. But now take a look at this guy. This guy here is the very definition of the uh, conditional uh, PDF of y1 given y2 okay so on the next step I'm going to be writing that down oops not what I want let me borrow this one here so now as I said what we have is f of y1 given y2 conditional PDF of y1, of y1 given y2 
times this guy. Okay. So that's what we have inside these squared brackets. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, now, since we are integrating with respect to y1, right? Everything that is a function of y2 only can be regarded as a constant. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is just uh, rearranging that expression and uh, using that fact. So now what I have is, hey, I'm integrating with respect to this guy. So I'm just going to say that, okay, that uh, what we have here, right, let me see if I can place some brackets. Okay. So the thing is, what I want you to see is that first we're doing this integral, right, with respect to y1. Okay, so we are, let me factor it out here. It's out here, right, and then what we have here, this one here is the one that we're going to be doing first, but this one here, right, is just what? Let's go back to our lecture notes. The definition of uh, expected value of g of y1 given y2 is just g of y1 times the conditional PDF, right? Well, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of g of y1 times the conditional PDF, right? So what we have here is just the expected value of y1 given y2. It's the very definition of a conditional expectation. Can you see that? So, what we have here is just the integral from negative infinity, oops, negative infinity, to infinity of this guy marginal of y2 times the expected value of uh, y1 given y2. Make sense? Again, this guy here, that integral here, is just the very definition of expected value of y1 given y2. Can you see it? Okay. y1 times the conditional PDF of y1 given y2. This guy here. Okay. So. Now, let me just rearrange this. It's the same as this. That integral, it's the same as this. Okay. Make it look nicer, that's better. So the integral from negative infinity to infinity of uh, the marginal of y2 times the expected value of y1 given y2 with respect to y2 is the same if I just uh, make these guys uh, switch places. Okay. 
but now if you take a look at this this is just the expected value of this quantity of that function right just by very def by the very definition if I had y it would be the expected value of y because I'm multiplying by the uh, PDF here of y2 the marginal of y2 okay so this is just right the expected value of that expected value make sense can you see that if we had say y squared y2 squared it would be you know the expected value of y2 squared right because it would it would be y2 uh, squared times the PDF that's just expected value of y2 squared but we have this okay it's that transformation is that function expected value of that function okay so what we have done here is we have shown this okay uh, there's a similar theorem that relates the uh, old uh, variance with the uh, new uh, concept of uh, conditional expectation and conditional variance and conditional variance remember that the variance uh, is just uh, variance is a particular kind of expected value is expected value of a transformation so anyway it's defined uh, similarly as a homework problem how about you read in our textbook uh, the proof for theorem 5.15 okay it's not going to be too hard it's going to be similar to the one we just did together okay so homework problem uh, read proof of theorem 5.15 okay so uh, let's summarize what we've done here today what we did here in this uh, video was introducing the new concept of conditional expectation right we saw that it's really similar to the old expected value that we had before but now instead of using uh, you know a regular PDF now we use a conditional PDF and uh, we also uh, gave a proof uh, of a result that uh, is going to uh, establish a relationship between the old expected value and the new concept of uh, conditional expectation okay well that's it for now thank you so much for watching please take care and keep working hard see you next time bye